Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Irene and this is Lifestyle Over 60 and today we are going to be talking all about hats. Do you have hats you never wear? Because I certainly do and in this video I want to empower you to throw a hat on. They can elevate any outfit and they're super cute. Coming up all about hats. Stay tuned. reasons that I don't wear my hats out is because I never felt comfortable and I didn't know the rules. So I want to tell you the rules of hat wearing really briefly to start out. There aren't many of them, but there are a few. And so for women, there really aren't any. You can leave your hat on pretty much anywhere you go. So <clears throat> feel free women when you're wearing a hat to go inside public places or in a home or restaurant. The only place that they say you should really take off a hat is if you are at a movie theater or a regular theater or some place where there's an audience and your hat might be an annoyance to someone behind you. But otherwise, ladies, you can wear your hat anywhere. Gentlemen were supposed to remove their hats inside, but not inside everywhere. So you can leave your hat on in a lobby or in a walkway or in an elevator. But once you get like inside someone's home or something like that, or a restaurant, men were supposed to take their hat off. And if there's nowhere to put your hat, you're supposed to hold it so that the lining doesn't show. Okay, so remember that, men. <laughs> Although now I think it's pretty, pretty loose as far as the rules of hat. So for us women, we could do what we want. So I thought I'd give you just a little brief history of the hat because it goes way back, but I'm just going to start with 1910. And here you can see what was in style then this wide, huge wide brim hat that's decorated on top. That's 1910, 1920. We have the flapper and they mostly wore headpieces with like headbands like this with feathers and beading. 1930, the cloche was big and I have cloches I'm gonna be showing you later in the video. In 1940, here we have the big oversized structured suit with a beret. This is a huge beret with a decoration. I'm wearing mine today and I have my little pin. We're going to be talking about the beret coming up. All right, 1950, the hat kind of went away and we went with the scarf covering the head. 1960, there were still boater hats and the pillbox hat, Jackie Kennedy made pretty famous. But again, in the 60s, not as many hats. By 1970, pretty much we just were wearing headbands. And then by 80, it was all about big hair. 90, still big hair with bows and ornaments, but not hats. So really, it's been a long time since hats have been in style and worn much. Who cares, right? Who cares? Like, I don't care if it's in style or not anymore. And I hope if you're over 60 that you don't either because as long as it looks good on you, I think you should wear it, right? Okay, so we're gonna be talking now about different types of hats and how to wear them. So I thought I'd start out with a beret, since I have one on. And you know, there's so many different ways to wear them. I never wore mine because I only thought you could wear it off to the side. I didn't realize that you could pull it down. And on me, I don't like the off to the side that much. I kind of feel like I'm in a French film or something, you know, I just, I'm in Los Angeles. And so I don't feel comfortable going out with that. However, it's cold right now. And so pulling it down gives it this whole other look, you know? So the beret, I have a couple of colors that I got. I got stuff during the pandemic I've yet to wear. So, you know, I highly recommend checking out the beret and I'm gonna show you some examples now of what you can do with them. All right, so here's one. You can decorate them with beads or pearls. You know, if you get one that's just black, you can use a similar color bead or pearl, or you can contrast it. Um, and here you can see they have the pin, and apparently you're supposed to put your decoration on the right side of your beret. 
Um, then here's me with my black beret over to this side. And even though I don't think it looks bad on me, I just feel ridiculous, you know? This is from Emily in Paris. The red beret is such a classic French style. Um, and here she's wearing it in a different way. So you see all the different ways to wear it. So with the beret, if you haven't tried one, try one on and play with it and, and wear it different ways and see if it works for you. And next up, we have the newsboy cap. I used to have one, but it just didn't look that good on me, I didn't think. So I gave it away. But they're kind of what we borrow from men's fashion and a lot of hats we borrow from men's fashion. And today I am wearing my son's gray blazer. So it is actually a men's fashion. And it's, it's a classic look, you know, the oversized male blazer with the man hat, you know, kind of, I don't know, I think it's sort of sexy looking. All right, so the new boy cap, here are some examples. Here's all black. Now this is the classic newsboy with the braid and the um, decorative buttons on the side. This is a leopard print in a really thick fabric, which is unusual for the newsboy. It's typically for men. Here it is in a tweed. And that particular newsboy cap would look really good with this jacket I have on. So you can wear it different ways. Here is one pulled down, which you know, you're gonna find with hats it depends on your face shape, how it's going to look on you, if it's going to be good or not. So the newsboy, if I had known this before I gave it away, maybe I would have tried it pulled down and, and that might look cute. So try them on. And here's the classic newsboy. Next up, the sun hat. I have mostly sun hats because I live in Los Angeles. And you're going to find that with hats, what you're going to want to wear is going to depend on where you live and the climate. Sun hats protect you from the sun and they can be really cute. So here you can see I have a white straw hat with a little decoration and the, the range of them, you're gonna see some now. All right, so here's a typical straw sun hat in white, in a wide brim with no decoration at all, just plain. Okay, here's me and my stepmom in Hawaii and this is a huge straw sun hat that I still have. I think it's um okay no i don't still have it something always happens to my hats i don't know if that happens to you but i i don't know what happened to that one but yeah so a huge straw hat in hawaii is very appropriate my mom here has a boater hat a straw boater hat on decorative sun hats this one was so fun i wore it to a voice lesson and my voice teacher had to take a photo of me in the hat i think she wanted it maybe i should have given it to her i didn't but anyway, okay, here you go. I had my sun hat on and we happened to come across this. So wearing a sun hat, you never know when you might run into your sun hat buddy somewhere. Next up, we have the beanie. And I'm not showing you a beanie on me now because I don't have one. Um, I'm living in Los Angeles, as I said, and we don't wear a lot of beanies here. It doesn't get that cold. So I don't have a beanie, but I have lots of them to show you. So here we go. Isn't this cute? If you match your beanie to your scarf, it's a very classic look. Beanies often have a pom-pom on top. So if you're not opposed to a pom-pom, it sounds kind of ridiculous, but look at it with this outfit. It looks chic, I think, and very stylish. So pom-poms with beanies can absolutely work. They don't all have pom-poms. Here's an example of a beanie pom-pom free. Next up, we have the fedora. I love fedoras. But once again, I don't have one to show you on me because I haven't found one that looks good. So what you're going to find with the fedoras, I'm going to show you, they come in different heights. And so if you have a longer face, a really high fedora isn't going to look good. You're going to want to get a shorter, you know, look. I think the best way to buy a hat though is really to go to a hat store and try a bunch on because it's really hard to know. Because even like a hat that doesn't look good on you like this might look better like that you know so trying them on is is really important all right so the fedora all right here's a contrasting fedora in a green with a black band which kind of sounds tacky but when you see it in this outfit i think it looks really good she's got this put all the way down to her eyebrows with her face shape works really well here's a fedora that would look okay with a longer heart-shaped face because see how high it is and see how her face is pointy 
at the bottom, so it kind of balances. So a hypodoy with a heart-shaped face looks good. Here's an example of a more sporty look with the fedora and her shoes, her leopard shoes, kind of tie it together with the outfit. And here are red fedora. They come in all different colors, all different styles, all different textures, and you know, from dressy to, as you see, sporty. So here's a red one with a wide brim. I think it's sort of cute. Next up, the cloche. I have one on, there's one here. The cloche was popular in the 1930s. I'm gonna show you different examples of it. And so you can see all styles and ways to wear it. I love the cloche. It's quite retro. Um, but as you can see with the straw one, it, it looks a little more modern, I think, than, than this, which looks very retro. All right, so here's some examples of the cloche. Here's a straw one with a black band, and it's a good way to just kind of go out and be casual, but still have something on your head. It's warm. Here's a gray wool cloche that's more wintry and kind of more dressed up feeling. Here's Angelina Jolie in a feature film period piece in the cloche that matches her outfit. Decorations, colors, materials really change the look. This is a dressy and classy cloche. Here's a very retro vibe. I love this one. In England, you'd fit right in. In LA, not so much. Cloches can be dramatic like this one. You would turn heads in this. So if you have to kind of be prepared if you're wearing this to um, get some attention. Next up, we have the Panama hat. And once again, I don't have one to show you, but I'm gonna show you lots of examples now. The Panama is, was born in Ecuador, similar to the fedora, but it's not quite the same. So here's a classic Panama hat. It's in black and white. They're usually straw and they're good for sun protection. Keeps your head cool in the summer as well. Panamas come in different heights, just like fedoras do. This one's a really high Panama with a heart-shaped face. Once again, looks good. Here's the Panama hat I wore to a summer party and the dog was getting a little bit fresh with me here. <laughs> Garbo the dog. Um, and I do not know what happened to that hat. I think I just stopped wearing them and give them away, probably. But yeah, that's the Panama hat. Here's the Panama with different colors. They tend to be natural materials and neutral colors. Next up, the boater hat. And once again, I don't have one. So I'm gonna show you examples. It's a round flat brim that's shorter and either one indentation in the top or none, also flat. So here we have an all black boater that goes with everything. Um, I know a woman who always wears a boater and she matches it to her top. <laughs> so, I mean, she'll have aqua top, aqua boater, orange, but I mean, that's how she, that's her style, you know. All right, here's one off to the side with matching her outfit. The felt black boater is super cute. Felt, if it's treated, can handle light rain, but not heavy rain, so, so you know. Boaters come in colors with decorations, straw, felt. Here's one with the chin strap. Next up, the floppy hat. I actually have a floppy hat to show you. I love floppy hats. I think they're so cute and you can make them look however you want, you know? So it's stylish, it protects you from the sun. It's cute, keeps your head warm. So we're gonna look at some different styles of floppy hat now. Here's the black felt floppy hat, which is classic, and it has a black leather hat band. Some have no hat bands, some have matching, this one's matching. They, they're all different. Here I am with my sister <laughs> in a black felt floppy hat, and this was um, at the Grove. Um, here's the floppy in neutral, and it's boho to me, you know, the way she has it styled with the lace and everything, the lace outfit. So this is the brown suede with the contrasting black band. The pork pie hat, next. Buster Keaton is our most famous pork pie hat wearing celebrity. It's got a really short brim and a flat top. Apparently he made his own. I didn't know that, but that's what one of my Facebook friends said. He made his own. 
here's some examples of the pork pie hat. They can look cute. You know, I don't have any because they don't look cute on me, but they might look cute on you. And they aren't real popular anymore, but they're out there. So if you like a pork pie hat, wear it. All right, the wide brim hat, which is a little like a sun and a floppy, only more. <laughs> Takes a little uh, gumption to wear. But if you're going to the Kentucky Derby or something like that, that's what everyone wears there, the wide brim hat. Here are some examples. I love this one with the decoration underneath. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, you'd wear this maybe to a costume party or something. I'm not sure where she's going in this, but it's, it's cute. Here's a wide brim felt with pearl and black velvet band. They're good for sun protection, by the way. Here's Ava Gardner in the wide brim off to the side. She was so pretty. And um, yeah, we have, there's no way I can cover all the ways, all the hats, all the styles, ways to wear them, you know, in one video. So if you guys like this, I'll do more. This is high drama with the wide brim. I love this one. And the height too is gonna vary with the wide brims. And next up, the Fascinator. You see these in England a lot. You don't see them in Los Angeles ever, which is why I don't have one. I love them. Oh, here we go. This one is so pretty. It's blue with blue feathers. They get crazy. This, I love this whole look with the hat matching the gloves. And you know, hats are ageless. So totally appropriate, no matter how old you are, no matter what hat you wanna wear, ageless. Here we have Princess Kate in her red fascinator that matches her dress. Here's the fascinator and they're usually worn off to the side, but the variations in them are endless. I couldn't do a hat video without throwing in the cowboy hat. So just a couple examples of the cowboy hat. My son spent some time in Texas and he said, mom, they wear cowboy hats for real here. <laughs> he was kind of surprised by that. So, you know, the cowboy hat is going to depend where you live, whether or what you're into. If you're into country western, if you live in the south or in Texas, the cowboy hat. I love this one and how the decoration on the hat bound matches her jewelry. Here's one in a neutral tone, kind of country western. Anyway, so the cowboy hat. And lastly, the baseball cap. This I wear every single day when I'm outside exercising. And so with the cap, the only thing is, is that depending on the length of your hair and how it falls, Sometimes if I'm out there and my hair's shorter and frizzy, it goes up like that, right? And so I kind of look like Bozo. <laughs> it's not attractive, you know, it goes Ooh. So I'm gonna show you what to do. First of all, I just put it up and here's a gal showing you how she's doing it and how cute, right? So you just put, most caps have a gap where you can thread your hair through if it's long enough. So highly recommend that if you're wearing the baseball cap. Otherwise, if you have really long hair, the baseball cap looks nice with your hair just down. In fact, most hats look good with your hair down. So here you can see one with a contrasting cap that looks good. Here's a version of the cap in a really thick material. They come in all different fabrics. They're very good for sun protection. I recommend them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief journey into hats. There's many more types that I didn't cover and all kinds of different ways to style them and wear them that I couldn't do in one video. So hopefully you got something out of it. And if so, like and subscribe and let me know in the comments. Do you wear hats? Do you want to wear hats? Uh, would you like me to do more videos on how to style them coming up? So take care and come see me again soon.